Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, so we are going to discuss one interview question. So, that is, so what is the difference between import statement and fully qualified name? So, we know where we use the import statement. Simply to connect the classes between applications, so we use the import statement. And now the concept is a fully qualified name. Sir, already import statement is there. So, then why they have the given a fully qualified name concept? Okay. So, one a simple example to understand. Here it is the concept is import versus fully qualified name. Here it is a question is this. So, why we are using a fully qualified name? So, already we have a import statement. So, guys what is the main advantage of a packages is if you want to so define a two classes in Java application, we should use a unique names right two different names we have to use. But advantage of packages is in your Java application you can define n number of classes with the same identity sir how it is possible sir just because of a packages. So, means what see suppose if you take one package the package means what is a folder we can call it as a Java folder as a package p1 in package p1 so I am taking two classes one is a x class and next one is a y class. So, now my question is sir can we place x class once again means what one more x class can we place means what impossible things generally in your computer one folder is there right. So, can you place same file two times in a folder impossible. So, in the same way in Java application also inside a package it is not possible to place two classes with the same identity. So, it is not allowed. So, how to overcome this problem simple just create another package create another folder package p2 inside that we can place here it is x class and we can take another class of course, z class. So, here it is a two packages we are taking the p1 package and p2 package. Now, x class is available in p1 package and as well as in p2 package. So, with the help of these two packages now you can understand what is the difference between import and fully qualified name means what. So, when we use a fully qualified name. So, one example we are taking suppose a class the class name anything we can take suppose a test. Now, I just want to work with both the packages p1 package and p2 package. So, here it is I am importing import the p1 package dot star I just want to access all the classes from the p1 package and next import import p2. So, what import statement will do it will not load all the classes. So, basics we know it will just create a pointer nothing but it will just create a connection. So, we can call it as a pointer connection to that p1 package and it will create a pointer to p2 package. With the help of these two connections only right at run time at the time of application loading means what application execution sorry at the time of application execution right it will load the classes into JVM. So, when required we know that unused classes will not be loaded into JVM ok. So, here so, now we are writing the main method and of course, public static void main string arcs. I just want to work with a y class simple. So, accessing y class means what I just want to load suppose I am creating object for y class this is simply object creation is enough no need to collect that reference into any reference variable just new y. So, is it allowed or not means what yes it is allowed reason with the help of these two import statements nothing but with the help of these two connections a class loader subsystem will search will search for that one y class right here it is only one y class is there. So, no collisions. So, it will allow next here it is whenever we are trying to create object for z class it is also allowed reason here it is with the help of these two connections if it search for the class only one class is there z is a unique class. So, no problem here. But look at this whenever we are trying to create object for x class x class now it will get confused here it is x class from where it has to collect from the package p1 or from the package p2 from where it has to collect it cannot understand. 
so that is why it will give error. So, that is ambiguous. So, nothing but collisions okay, from where it has to access from the P1 or from the P2 is a problem. So, here it is in this situation we should go for fully qualified name. This is the only advantage. Okay. So, whenever, whenever we want to access two classes with the same name from two different packages, we cannot use import statement. Here it is you should specify very clearly new please load the class from p1 package. You can collect the reference of course, this is not required. If you collect the reference here also you have to specify this is p1 class p1 package x class type reference variable. And next one here it is if you want to create object for p2 package x class you should specify like this and r2 p1 p2 package x class this is the program. Now it will load p1 package x class only and it will load p2 package x class only. So, this is the advantage of a fully qualified name. So, definitely the question will rise sir already import statement is there then why we have to use a fully qualified name in packages. So, this is the best example to understand when we go for a fully qualified name. So, once again, so when we use a fully qualified name means what? As a packages advantage is defining more than one class with the same identity, with the same identity that is the main advantage. So, nothing but to avoid the collisions between the class names. But once you place inside the two different packages accessing again, so become problem with the help of import statement you cannot access because import statement cannot understand from where it has to load nothing but class loader subsystem who will load the classes into JVM right cannot understand. So, that is why we should go for fully qualified name with the help of fully qualified name we are specifying very clearly from where it has to access right and what class we need to access all these things okay. So, so this is completely about a uh, when we use a fully qualified name instead of import statement in Java application. Hope you understood this right. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you guys. Thank you.